Evangelist Ray Comfort once made a mistake so huge, it earned him the permanent mocking nickname, The Banana Man. This mistake so defined his career that he actually made this blunder the focus of his new feature film called The Fool. Never one to pass up a chance to do a more ridiculous version of what the other creationists are doing, Kent Hovind has also decided to throw his hat into the not knowing when things are man-made ring. Move over, Banana Man. Dr. Broccoli Man is in the house. We spend a lot of time at Polygia looking at the claims of the Creation Today ministry of one Eric Hovind. Eric's father, Kent Hovind, is actually much better known around the world and has been ramping up his presence on YouTube of late. No, there's no kind way to say it. It's just flat dumb. Kent's latest is a series called Creation That Destroys Evolution, where in each video, Kent describes some aspect of nature that he feels is too complicated to be explained through natural forces. We've been talking about the impossibility of things evolving like an atom, an amoeba, an ant, an apricot, an aardvark, an appendix, an amethyst. Not possible for that to happen by chance. Completely impossible. You'll notice items on this list like the atom and the amethyst, non-biological things that would obviously never be explained by biological evolution. It's like complaining that a chef can't bake you an office chair. Tonight, broccoli. Didn't the Veggie Tales do a song about broccoli? Okay, if there's one thing I know better than the New Testament, it's Veggie Tales. I'm sorry, Kent, but there are no silly songs with Larry about broccoli. There aren't any songs about broccoli. There's not even a broccoli character. You might be thinking of Junior Asparagus, but he was an asparagus. <laughs> that is hilarious. I have, it's been years since I saw that one of the Veggie Tales silly songs, I Love My Lips. How many have seen that one? I'm confused. I love my lip. I Love My Lips features a cucumber and an asparagus. No broccoli. It is hilarious. <laughs> have you seen that? I love my lips. He don't have any lips. Never mind. Okay. If we can't trust Kent on VeggieTales, how can we trust him on science? So you evolutionists tonight, buckle up and hang on. Buckled up, hanging on. Broccoli. How could broccoli have evolved slowly by chance? I would like an answer to that. A very simple answer. Just as Ray Comfort attributed the properties of the modern banana to the design skills of his god, you'll find the maker of the banana, almighty god, has made it with a non-slip surface. So Kent Hovind thinks that the unique properties of broccoli point to the God of the Bible. But just as Ray completely missed the fact that the bananas we buy in the store have never existed in nature, but are instead the product of generations of selective breeding. This is a natural banana. It's short, fat, littered with large and hard seeds, tastes foul, and it's low in nutrients. But hey, if Comfort's God exists, it's evidently the banana that it wants you to enjoy. So, enjoy. So too, broccoli has never existed in nature. We've got broccoli, see, cauliflower, cabbage, kohlrabi, and Brussels sprouts. And all of these things are all the same species, Brassica oleracea. In ancient Rome, circa 600 BC, in the region now known as Tuscany, Italian farmers began to selectively breed Brassica oleracea plants, also known as wild cabbage. The leafy Brassica plants looked more like a weed than a crop, and fared poorly in most climates. But these renowned horticulturalists of Rome engineered the broccoli buds through aggressive artificial selection, much in the same way breeders artificially selected all the types of dogs we know today from wild wolves. Its English name, broccoli, is derived from the Italian word broccolo, which means the flowering crest of a cabbage. Commercial cultivation of broccoli dates back to the 1500s, and there are reports that even Thomas Jefferson bought broccoli seeds in the late 1700s, but it didn't become a popular North American food until the 1920s. It's possible that God created the ancestors of broccoli, but broccoli itself is entirely a human innovation over a short period of time. How many trillions of intermediate steps would there have to be? To go from weed-like cabbage to broccoli was at most hundreds of steps. You're way off on trillions. Is it more logical to believe that maybe broccoli was created by a really smart creator? In this case, yes. And that really smart creator was generations of human farmers. I'd like to see some science out of you guys finally, for a change. How did broccoli evolve? This is just a bite. So I'll just point Kent and anyone wanting evidence for the human engineering of broccoli to this 2010 paper by Lorenzo Maggioni, which gathers all the relevant linguistic, literary, and historical data about the domestication of this species. Broccoli. 
It is a cool season annual crop. Sprouting broccoli has a larger number of heads with many thin stalks. Are you kidding me? Kent pulled this paragraph directly from the Wikipedia article for broccoli. How did Kent get this far in Wikipedia and skip over the answer given to him in the introduction on the very page he quoted from? Broccoli is a result of careful breeding of cultivated brassica crops in the northern Mediterranean starting in about the 6th century BC. If you believe broccoli evolved, you have lost your marbles. There's no kind of way to say it. You're stupid. The most common definition of biological evolution is the change of allele frequencies in a population over time. Put another way, the change of expression of traits in a population over time. As cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, brussels sprouts, collard greens, and more not only began as the same species, but they remain genetically the same species to this day. These breeds obviously represent visible and documented evolution. Is it more logical to believe maybe it was created by a really smart creator? To me, that's just logic, common sense 101. This is purely an argument from incredulity. Kent either doesn't understand or finds it complicated and therefore declares it to be false. This isn't how life works. Physics is complicated, but it makes accurate predictions whether you can understand them or not. Accurate predictions are what count. Kent predicts that broccoli evolution is impossible, when in fact the evolution of broccoli is relatively recent and well documented. I wish you could see you have been absolutely fooled by the devil, and he's laughing at you for believing this stuff. Someone has been fooled, and someone is being laughed at. I'm sure your friend Ray Comfort is thankful for the company. Could all the scientists in the world using all the money in the world create one living, fertile broccoli bud? Just a little bud on a piece of broccoli. Yes. A handful of farmers created broccoli from non-broccoli over 2,500 years ago with no money at all. Now, I'm sure that once Kent finally discovers his blunder here, that he will simply back up his incredulity and want to know how the cabbage evolved. The fact that one plant can produce such a huge variety of vegetables would actually have played well into the created kind idea that God pre-configured the originally created plants with all the genetic information it would eventually need to adapt and vary. But that's not the argument that Kent makes here. Kent thinks that God made broccoli on day three of creation, and that Adam and Eve enjoyed broccoli in the Garden of Eden. They did not. And I'm trying to use very simple things like broccoli to get you see to see how dumb your religion is. So we're supposed to conclude that this out-of-touch man knows so much more about science than the scientists who study and work in these fields that he can definitively call all of them ignorant fools, all the while having no idea that the example that he picked himself to demonstrate the impossibility of evolution is a well-documented case of human-guided evolution. He's right. One position has been shown to be dumb today. Dance around the broccoli and say, praise God for broccoli. Praise science for broccoli. No God needed. She chopping broccoli. Chopping broccoli. Chopping broccoli. She chopping broccoli. She chop a broccoli! 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 Chop a broccoli!